have bad moments, which happens all the time in the career. <laughs> it happens a lot. It happens a lot there, uh, but... Definitely, definitely helps. He's trying not to smirk when he's saying that, too. That when you have bad moments, a lot of moments for you. I'm so sorry. What is going on, guys? It is JJ here, back with a new video. Today, we are going to take a look at a very random entry. And I don't even know how I found this video, but I was just so happy it came up on my like YouTube For You page. We are going to take a look at 24 hours in the life of Charles Leclerc. The guy who arguably should be up in the driver's championship race, or at least have Ferrari up, um, has been disappointed by the car every step of the way. And, and honestly, sometimes his own performances as well have been extremely disappointing. But nonetheless, we're going to take a look at this video that he just dropped, I think we're coming right up into the summer break. Um, I can totally understand if he just wants to sort of relax and just let things be at this rate because nothing has gone his way this in F1 this season. And I feel bad, but at the same time, I don't. It's like Ferrari have become like Tottenham. They just keep bottling it. But anyway, we're going to watch this random video that he put up. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let's get into the video. And see, honestly, this probably is going to be pretty glamorous. I'm actually looking forward to this. Let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below on the Charles Leclerc channel. Let's do it. Dude, Monaco is sick. A little bit of a different content today. 24 hours with me. This is Zika. My friends, my family. Lorenzo Luzo, <laughs> the one who lost the game. Hobbies. Oh, that's sick. Um, workout, a lot of workout. I'm dead. And uh, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. Ciao. As most of the morning, it's uh, paddle day uh, with my trainer, my two brothers, and uh, yeah, it should be it should be fun. Let's go. So just playing tennis. I'm so confused. Oh, it's nice to be playing with my brothers. I mean, I don't have the chance to play with them very often. But we are very competitive in the family, so now they are losing and they are not very happy. I'm pretty sure they will give their best and hopefully they will be coming back. But we play much more. With, with Andrea we play a lot. And we, so yeah, but it's fun. It's fun and it's good to have family time a little bit. So. His brothers don't really look like him. Like they do, but they don't. <laughs> How was it? What's well, nice? Oh, okay, I lied. He does. Who won? I think. Well, we both yes. did at the end. <laughs> Before Lorenzo loses the time. I'm the one who lost every game. But I have a weekend which was uh, quite intense. <laughs> In such a way, a bit too much partying for the older brother, and uh, we are we are athletes, so we never party, Ooh. and uh, we were 100% today. So we won. It's funny because we kind of used to play together since we were a child and there was always this kind of competition spirit because we grew up with uh, Bianchi families, so all the drivers, like with the friends, so it was always like having fun but in a way we wanted always to to beat one to the, one to the other and I think at the end it was like, me I was quite old so I, I had the advantage at some point when they were like 10 or 9 <laughs> But then when they grew up, they start to beat me. So then I stopped to play because I don't like to lose. <laughs> and yeah, now it's time to, uh, to rest a little bit and uh, to go for the next activity. I just don't understand Monaco in general. I'm so lost by this city. City, city, state, city, state. I don't get it. I don't, I don't get how Monaco does what it does. This is La Tête de Chien in French. Um, it's actually one of the only places where we can see all Monaco, uh, because you actually see basically every, all of Monaco. Monaco is so small but so busy, and I live somewhere there. It's where I'm born, it's where I've lived all my life, and it's the city and country that I love. We met the first time, I think, in 2011. Andrea Ferrari? I don't remember. I remember you were 
His, his trainer is literally a Ferrari. He can't escape. He can't escape the Ferrari. Seven years ago, where we. Eight. Eight. When you drove in Formula Three. Formula Three. At the end of the season, I think you did one race. The first race was Monza. Monza. You have a good memory. <laughs> so we spend a lot of time together, and also in between the races, sometimes when we need to uh, to chill and uh, and to think about something else other than racing, we also spend time together because we we're having the best time together. Great to have him by my side because obviously it, it helps to have good people around you. It's a very long season, very tiring season, and especially when you have bad moments, which happens all the time. In the year. <laughs> it happens a lot. It happens a lot there. But... He's trying not to smirk when he was saying that too. That when you have bad moments, a lot of moments for you. I'm so sorry. Every day to the gym. It's it's important. I feel so much benefit since I have this discipline to go to the gym every day. Obviously, once you are young, you don't especially go to the gym. You just go to the races, you drive, and then you go back home and relax. But then, uh, once you actually start to work out, you you feel that you feel much better whenever you are in the car. So uh, yeah. Every day. But yeah, I quite like uh, being here and actually not only for my physical good, I think mentally I also feel good whenever I go come back from the gym and I and it makes me feel good and, and think about something else than racing. How old is Charles Leclerc? He's not old, is he? I'm dead. <laughs> no, he's only like what, like 24, 25? Maybe like 25, 26. I don't, I don't even know how old he is. Battle, hiking, gym, same day. Difficult. <laughs> now it's uh, time for cryotherapy to uh, recover a little bit and to get ready for the next race. Cryotherapy? These are the best shoes ever. Does he have Ferrari socks on? He's got Ferrari socks on. I love that. I look stylish. I shall stay in there around 2.30, 3 minutes. I won't say 2.30, 3 minutes. It's normally 3 minutes, but today I don't know. <laughs> I'm already cold outside the room, so... Oh my goodness. Oh. How do they bring the camera into there? Yeah, this is a bit... First time I see this beauty. It's actually our collection of the Prince of Monaco. And the next one that you'll see later on. Um, my first ever Formula One car. Very, very special memory. Obviously, the Alfa Romeo. I've always dreamed of being a Formula One driver. And with this car, my dream came true, which is amazing. But I had another dream, which was to win a Formula One race. And this is the car with which I've done it, that you probably know already. Um, 2019 obviously, one in Spa, one in Monza with it, uh, it's the exact chassis and this also is a car that means a lot to me, so um, yeah, I'm so happy and it's in good hands too, it's at the collection of, of the Prince here in Monaco, um, so yeah, I know that they are taking Wait, care. Wait, so, so he doesn't technically own it, the Prince owns it? That's so weird to me, that's so weird to me. Uh, of the cars in the best way possible. This? Monza, 2019. He has, yeah, he has the celebration from that on a hoodie. Formula One, so of course, yeah. To go in Italy and then be able to win was a very, very, very special day. I remember that I, did, I couldn't get the passes for my mum because there was too much request. <laughs> and actually she was too late to tell me that she was coming, so I had already promised the passes to other people. So I find her a nice uh, grandstand place and she came to see that race in the grandstand. She was down the podium with all the fans but nobody knew she was my mum, which, uh, which was fun. That, 
That'd be so weird. That would, like, you can't get your mom tickets, but, like, oh, that, uh, I don't like that. Understandable, but, like, hmm? This has been a long day already. I'm tired for him. 7 a.m. to, to 3.30, we've, we've done cryotherapy. We've done three workouts. We've visited the Prince's car collection. I forgot the other one. So normally what we do with Andrea is that we come here after training, after cryotherapy sometimes, I just get on the piano, he sits down, and then he just keeps telling me to play, and he just sleeps. Sleeps like a baby. And I just need to play for him to sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when did you start uh, playing the piano? I started uh, during lockdown. I we used to have a, a piano oh! when I was younger, and my younger brother was spending hours and hours on it, so I didn't have really much time to uh, um, to play piano. But I always loved listening to him. And then during lockdown, obviously there was not much to do. Uh, I was quite a bit in my simulator room playing simulator. But then whenever I had a bit of uh, free time, I would get on the piano and actually learn. And I loved it. So uh, not too long ago, but I've actually lost quite a bit in the past year because I was busy racing. Um, but I, I really enjoy it, and it's uh, it's one of the time where I can actually relax and uh, and and yeah, disconnect from racing and everything that is around. We are home for me, at least, not for Andrea. But Andrea can consider it home slowly by slowly because he's been. Uh, Quite a few days here now, but these are the shoes that I've been taking by bus to go uh, to school every morning once I was a kid. And I still walk in my city like I'm doing now. And yes, yeah, so that's exactly where I started my uh, home race this year, not where I finished. But you can see it's a normal day. We've got a bit of different cars. <laughs> I love that he threw my cover and it's not where I finished, but it's where I started. Prime. Now Prime. The, track. Uh, the start finish line, and then. The most exciting part of today, the supermarket. That's where I will go and buy the food for tonight. Is there just like one supermarket in Monaco? I'm not sure. That's why I'm waiting Andrea. He knows the diet better than me. I'll call the dietitian because it's too difficult to cook on a boat. Eh, volevo mangiare un bacca stasera. Va bene. Grazie Jimmy. Grazie a tutti. Ciao ciao. <laughs> there's never, there's not been a conclusion actually. <laughs> I'm just going to buy tomatoes because that's fine. I love tomatoes. I ceci, cosa sono esattamente? Perché non ho ancora capito. Sono quelle farine gialle. Invece che fagioli ci ceci. Che guarda, lenticchie, ceci, fagioli. Lenticchie. You just don't speak in Italian. Come ceci, eh? You seem a bit lost. I am, I am, because I'm not sure yet what I'm going to eat. Pasta and ham. Easy, I know how to cook that. <laughs> the ham is... He, Charles Leclerc doesn't have a chef. That kind of blows my mind, actually, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm the captain. I feel the pressure. Maybe you have more pressure in uh, one car or here? Yeah, because I'm less in control. <laughs> The edits are sick. The edits on this are actually crazy good. It's just so random. It just keeps it yeah, jumps around sometimes. Bad, it's bad. a little random. I said with a very French accent. Which is my favorite place. And tonight it's particularly beautiful because nobody's here. So uh, good surprise I guess. Mm. It's beautiful. Let's go to swim. What what time is it? I don't have the watch game. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's time to send it. It's time to send it. <laughs> Most of the day done, uh, finishing it off uh, on the boat, which is. It does. I, you know what? It's like he's having a nice relaxing vacation, as you should. I couldn't come tonight, but uh, still very happy to spend some time with my older brother and my girlfriend now that we are going to come to go and pick up very soon because she's coming back from, from her plane. So, uh, yeah, and it's the first time that I drive this little boat and it's so incredibly fun. We've had a lot of fun with my brother before. And yeah, now it's uh, 
time to chill a little bit, relax from what has been quite a tiring day. I feel so lucky. How come? Look at that. Only good things. Mm -hmm. It's a busy life sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I miss home, but I love what I do, so this compensated. What I'm a you, family guy. I love family. That? Boys, girls, multiple one, two? Three children. That's the sweet spot for me. I mean, we are, we are three brothers. My oh. Wife, uh, I was like, is, is he expecting triplets? I, th I thought that's what he was about to say. I mean, I guess it's for every dad's like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, he helped me massively to get to where I am. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 If I could back, if I could go back in time, I'll probably enjoy more the time, you know, the, the little time that I had with him, you know, the normal times. Right? Because then once you lose a person, it's already too late. But it's okay. I learned Damn, we're going to dad, Charlie. My brothers, my mum. Charles! Monaco is so gorgeous. Yes, hey! Hey! And we need to be back very soon. So, we'll be pushing on the way back. <laughs> Ooh, Monaco at night. So that's it. 24 hours with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved it. Um, Is it weird that this feels like a relatively no? Like it doesn't feel like if you were to watch this video, that Charles Leclerc is at like the pinnacle of one of the biggest sports and one bigger sports in the world. Um, just kind of seems like he's a normal person living in Monaco. I think that's maybe what he wanted to get across, and I think it's pretty sick. I think it's actually super super sick that that is what he kind of does that's I mean that's what he just allowed us to see 24 hours in the life of Charlotte Claire in Monaco just probably enjoying his summer break trying to forget the airs that Ferrari have, have had this season probably just trying to, to relax and forget everything that's happened up to this point obviously I don't see them coming back to win the title by any means but who knows maybe maybe more days like this for him and they'll come back more refreshed more focused ready to try and compete and maybe beat Max to a couple more races. But anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.